In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an incredible LinkedIn profile in just 12 minutes. My name is René and I've created over 300 videos around this topic. And in this video, I want to boil everything down to what's most important on LinkedIn, starting with personalizing your LinkedIn profile URL. You see, a clear LinkedIn URL makes a better first impression than the random string of numbers and letters many users have. It looks unprofessional and doesn't fit well in the header section of your resume. Now to update this, go to your LinkedIn profile page and click this pencil icon in the top right corner. You will then be redirected to your public profile page. I recommend using your first and last name with or without a hyphen in between. Now if those are already taken, try using the first letter of your name followed by your surname. And again, with or without a hyphen. Now, if that's not possible either, you can also include your year of birth at the end. Now, once finished, click save, because now it's time for the most important part of this video, uploading a professional LinkedIn profile picture. First, let's discuss what makes a professional photo and what doesn't. Some are positioned too much to the left, too much to the right, too low, too high, too far away, poorly lit, black and white like it's a funeral card or something, a photo taken in a car, or the quality is so low you can't even see the person. You know, in such cases, it might be even better to skip uploading a profile picture altogether. What you need is a friendly looking, sharp, well-positioned and clear photo, like this one. Now, to create a photo like this, you don't need a professional studio. In fact, let me show you how I turn this picture into a crisp, professional looking profile picture. Let's start by searching for a free background remover tool. As you can see, there are plenty of options and remove BG is one of the best. So upload your image over here and it will make the background transparent. The only downside is that it allows you to download just one free HD picture. And I won't choose this one because well, as you can see, it lacks sharpness. So let's go back to the search results and I will show you a second free option. This one from Adobe. Upload your photo here, like that. And after a few seconds, it's done. Now, I believe you can download as many HD images as you want, but you do need to sign up. Next, go to canva.com. Then click on create a design and search for LinkedIn profile picture, this one. Now you first want to upload the file or if you have Canva Premium, you can add the picture to the canvas and click on BG Remover. Then click on the white canvas so we can add a soft colored background. Now, I like this color. Okay, let me see. Now reposition and resize your transparent image to make it fit nicely. After that, click on Edit to adjust the photo. Now, I like to increase the temperature a tiny bit and I would like to add quite some brightness. Now I also usually add some sharpness to make it crisper. You see, now if you go to elements, you can also add some shadows. I will quickly show you how to add it so you can decide for yourself. Okay, rotate and reposition it a bit. Then go to position, layers, and drag the shadow underneath your picture. You see, and then give your file a name. Okay, click the share button and download it as a JPEG file. Okay, now go back to your LinkedIn profile, click the plus icon and upload the photo. Zoom in to get a close up, adjust the position slightly and click save photo. And there you have it, a perfect LinkedIn profile picture. All right, next up, it's time to design a LinkedIn banner. But before we start, let me show you some great examples. You see, for a software engineer, a banner like this is perfect. Some creative coding elements on the left with programming language icons on the right to highlight expertise. Or take this one for a graphic designer. It's clear, original, and well-designed. Or take a look at this banner, where the person did a keynote or presentation. You see, the banner is a great place to showcase your accomplishments. However, most of us don't have something to showcase, nor the skills to design something that grabs attention. No worries, I'm here to help you out. First, click the link in the video description. Then scroll down to my free LinkedIn banner templates. These templates are a great starting point to create something unique. And you don't have to pay me anything. Just add them to your cart, enter your email and click get. Now, this is a bit off topic, but if you still need a resume template, I highly recommend this one. 
I've done extensive research and Fortune 500 recruiters have selected this template as the best format. But for now, let's click continue without adding and then click on open LinkedIn banner templates. Now what you see here are the correct LinkedIn banner dimensions that we want to use for our new design. All right, there we go. Okay, so off these templates, I'm going to use the first one and you can remove this watermark. Now Canva offers many free pre-made templates and although they look nice, let me show you this one, it's mostly visual clutter that distracts hiring managers from what really matters. What skills or traits you offer to solve their problems. There's no need to include your name or job title in the banner. Those are already covered in this section. The goal here is to create a simple, minimalistic design with a personal touch. So what you want to do is change these keywords to your most important hard skills that relate to your current or aspired job title. And next, let's add a background of the city you live in. This way you add a little bit of that personal touch and this can also even spark interesting conversations. Download one you like and upload it to Canva and then expand it to cover the whole banner. Reposition it, then click on position, layers and move it to the background. And finally, adjust the transparency to let's say 20% because we ultimately want to bring more attention to your skills. All right, then give it a name. Okay, and then download it as a JPEG. Enable only page one, press done and download. Then hop onto LinkedIn, press the camera icon and click edit profile background. Open the file like so and click apply. There you go. A subtle, unique and personalized banner. All right, next I want to show you what a perfect LinkedIn headline looks like. You see, many job seekers tend to write something like actively looking or seeking for employment, which can come across as a bit needy. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a little bit eager for a job. Just keep in mind that this phrasing may attract more interest, but it's often from less reputable companies. I recommend a headline that is a little bit different. So click on the pencil icon, scroll down, and in the text box, start by entering your current job title or the job title you're aiming for. Then hold shift plus the vertical line key on your keyboard to separate your job title from some of your hard skills. And after another vertical line, hold control command spacebar to open the character viewer, because this lets you add an emoji to your headline. And lastly, include a personal trait or a specific solution you can offer to solve market problems. Okay, and click save. Now, if you have more than five years of experience, you can mention that here too. Now, I like keeping the headline short so it won't exceed two lines. This makes it just a bit easier on the eye. Now, to get the same cropped headline, you may want to include your experience or educational background on the right side. Just enable the show current company in my intro. Or if you don't have work experience, you can enable the show your education in the intro. All right, that brings us to the next topic, writing a LinkedIn summary. Now, if I'm being honest, I'm not really sure if recruiters actually read them. So I want to show you a smart way to make sure they actually read it. Now, if you don't see this section, just go back up, click on add profile section and under core, click on add about. Now I'm going to add these three sentences with a descending structure and emojis to make it more visually appealing. Click on save, close the window and scroll down. Now there is a reason I only entered three sentences. Let me show you. You see, those who land on your profile don't have to click on see more. Your most important information is visible right away. Sure, you can make your summary more extensive like I did in this example, but if you don't have that much to include, I would say keep it simple. So just enter your job title, what you do, and a sentence that refers recruiters to your work, recent measurable results, or something that shows that you would be an asset to potential employers. All right, next up, it's time to optimize the skills section. You see, this section is key for including those important keywords that recruiters enter in their LinkedIn recruiter tool to find potential candidates. Now, the best way to go about it is by going to jobs and then searching for a few of your favorite vacancies. Let me enter something real quick. You see, underneath the job description, you can find skills added by the job poster. So these are the in-demand skills for the jobs you're applying to. Now, there are probably some missing on your profile, so I would recommend adding these skills to your page. 
and is really easy to do within just a few clicks. Now you're probably wondering how many skills you should add. Well, according to ChatGBT, it should be around 15 to 25 skills. Well, another chatbot called Perplexity suggests 20 to 30. I think somewhere in the middle around 20 skills seems about right. You see, too many skills can dilute or weaken the impact of your strongest ones. And lastly, click on the dots icon so you can reorder your most important two skills at the top. For example, I put content creation and content strategy at the top of my list. And this is important because these are the skills that your viewers see first without needing to click on show all. All right, that brings us to the experience section. Here's how I would showcase my experiences. So a few years back, I worked as a webmaster under contract for Renault Group, which was located in Schiphol Rijk and I worked on site, but I'm no longer with the company. Since I don't remember the exact start and end dates, I'll just enter something for the sake of this video. Now, moving on to the description, I would recommend entering three bullet points. And here's where the magic happens. Go to ChatGPT and enter something similar to what you see here. The only thing you need to do is change the job title, company name, and a few other details. Let's press enter and see. Now, this already looks perfect. Just make a few tweaks here and there, and then copy and paste the problem action and results right into the description and to top it off i would recommend making it visually appealing by adding some media files okay and this is what the end result would look like you see those media files is something that almost nobody does but it gives a little bit of context but also shows that you're detail oriented organized and results driven all right, that's about it for the experience section. Now, there are some other sections that I could have covered, but these are definitely the most important ones that I want you to focus on. Now, if you've gotten to this point, then you will probably also find this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.